Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. This is part 50. Also, it's blind, but I didn't mention that before. Um, <laughs> yes, and what better way to kick off part 50 than to explore where it all began, which is the old reactor. Well, I guess it's not where it all began, but it's sort of where clouds roll in the story began. Um, Yes, that's what we're doing in this episode. I don't know what's going to be here, if anything, for us to get. Because I know Sephiroth said to meet him on the other side of the mountain, and this is not it. But I figured this place is... There's got to be something here. Otherwise, it, like, there's got to be something. <laughs> so we're going to explore this, and then time permitting, we'll exit this area and go to the outside world yet again. Um, before we start, I'm going to show that I put Death Blow on Vincent. A lot of people said this was a good idea because his sniper CR weapon has crazy attack percent, and that's actually accuracy. I didn't know that until people told me, so thanks, guys. <laughs> but uh, since Death Blow misses a lot, uh, it's not normally that great to use, but if we slap it on Vincent now that he's got this super accuracy weapon, um, he'll hit with it a crap ton more. And I actually have done some farming off-screen, and I gotta tell you, it hits quite a bit. Uh, I also put lightning and added added or elemental materia on Vincent because I thought that'd be cool if we're having a, doing a lot of attacking with him and I also give him mystify and uh, which confuses and I think berserks too because I did berserk one of the dragons that I was farming off I put that on this instead of uh, time just for fun <laughs> I think everybody else's materia is pretty much the same and then yes as you can see here um, we have five gold armlets now that's what I was farming for I was fighting those dragons, uh, and yeah. So now you can't accuse me of never wanting to grind or farm or anything, because I do understand that uh, it's helpful. And is there really nothing here? I guess it wouldn't make sense. There's nothing left in this Genova chamber for us, right? We can't go in there, I guess. I guess that there really is nothing in the reactor. <laughs> Jeez, guys, I thought you said that Cloud's Triceratops dad was in here or something. Were you leading me astray? I had no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I guess... Alright. There's nothing in here. It seems like there's a bunch of... Or a couple weird places like that here. On Mount Nibble. Um, there were some winding paths out on the sort of like outsides of the mountain. In those other areas that like loop around here and stuff. And there were two actually that I... While running around here just doing a little bit of exploring off screen. I realized... I had uh, not gone up those paths, but there was nothing up them. And one of them even was like a huge, like twisty roundabout, like way around the mountain, and there was literally no payoff there at all. <laughs> so I don't know. Either I was missing something completely obvious in the scenery that like I could have interacted with, or maybe it was just for flavor. I don't know. We're gonna run from that battle. I don't think we need to really fight any more of the enemies in this area. Uh, I did kill all the dragons that I came across, and some other battles that weren't dragons that I just was in. <laughs> so I think we're pretty well leveled for where we're at right now. I don't know. So I guess that's it for Mount Nibble. We'll have to see what's on the other side of the mountain, and this is what I'm scared of. Hey, you can see our little buggy over there. It's kind of cool. There's old Nibbleheim. Old weird, messed up Nibbleheim. People have been telling me to go back there. I guess we can't now. Uh, but... We'll do it eventually. They said there's some more stuff to be figured out as far as what, like, happened to that town. And it's definitely a predicament and a mystery to me currently, so definitely want to check that out because I want to figure out why no one remembers Cloud. And we got these mud wolves again. <laughs> the most creative enemy. Truly. Did someone... Eris got her limit. Do you guys have anything good to steal? I don't think you do. I don't know. Uh, we can stop you for what it's worth. Yeah, see, there's death blow hitting, and it hits. Oh, does it hit quite a lot? <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't know. These guys, I'm sure, don't have any magic attacks, but stop is always good. We can probably take this guy out with just one more death blow. Fine. Also, something someone told me that's been perplexing me for the entire LP is that I'm taking my sweet time here because this guy stopped is that they've been telling me that if you press R or L, one of the shoulder buttons, while you're using a magic that has all equipped to it, you can single target. I thought you had to do that in this menu, so I was like, bloop bloop, what am I doing? 
but no, you have to have the pointer finger out, and that's how you do it. It doesn't really, I guess you can't really see that, because we're only fighting one enemy here, but I, I realized that while I was grinding, and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, cool. So, you can do that. And I think, I believe it works in this game that if you attack an enemy with, a, like, if you just attack one enemy with a magic, it'll deal more damage than if you're using all, so I mean, that's good. I don't know, I don't... All that number stuff, like, it's hard for... Like, I can understand it when I'm seeing it flat, like, laid out, but it's hard for me to, like, pay attention to in the heat of battle. I mean, stuff like... Well, even I didn't really do a great job at this, but, like, stuff like realizing if you're not doing a lot of damage or, like, you're doing a lot, I can get that, but, like, the small, minute differences... Like, I don't know, it's just... That stuff doesn't stand out to me. It's weird. What am I talking about? There's a town that we're approaching. Oh, what are you? Are you? <laughs> these are like something. Oh man, these are scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are these like frog dragons? They're kind of spooky, ooky. I don't know. <laughs> Did I get? I got something good from him, didn't I? I? See, I just stole it, and I was reacting to what they looked like, and now I can't remember what. It was that I stole. I don't seem to be too powerful, though. Or just death blow is awesome. That might be more it. Uh, didn't it say that we stole something from them? Let me just try that one more time. Okay, that doesn't do it. But ice will, I'm sure. That's good. Eris can get a kill. Okay, I guess nothing. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> guess we just got to encounter this really creepy, weird-looking enemy. Which, you know, is never bad. I should have manipulated those guys, but I'm sure we'll encounter them again. I'm sure there are not just two creepy bug frog dragons out on the plains. I'm sure there are a multitude. Yes. Uh, I guess this is a town. I don't know. It's got a... thing? It reminds me a little bit of Junon, how it's, like, got a structure. I don't know if that's a reactor or something. Let's see for ourselves. And we got our oh we got our wall market music back. That's cool. What's that? It is. It's a big structure. Looks like a broken down reactor. Cause surely we haven't seen enough of those lately. Rusty Oh, it's a rocket, not a reactor. I wonder what they'd make something that huge for. <laughs> I think is this the <laughs> never mind. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Uh Captain? Yeah, who's that? Who's El Capitan? The captain was a pilot when Shinra was interested in the space program. Isn't, like, the space program dude, like, the little goofy one? He's going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see him? Oh, I guess it just automatically chooses that option. Don't know a thing about it. Well, is Sephiroth not here? Did he tell us that he was going to be here and then he went somewhere else? I don't know. It seems like it would be smart for him to do that. But at the same time, it doesn't seem like something Sephiroth would do. Seem he seems sort of a confrontational guy. Can I not open any of these chests? Okay, a gun is a man's weapon. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do. Else will do. So does this guy sell guns? That's good. Oh, that's a uh, shotgun. Looks good for Vincent. I don't know because... See? Yeah, it was smart of me to farm these because now I don't have to spend my money on these gold armlets. That's cool. Um, This is probably better... Well, it is better, but I don't. I'm, I can't imagine it would have the same accuracy as the rifle. So I think we'll. Well, and that's got the same amount of materia slots too. So all it would really do is increase his attack. I don't know. Maybe we'll hold off on that for now. I think we're gonna buy this because it's a new accessory with magic. Um, I kept equipping that one that this one that has spirit. Someone told me spirit doesn't do anything. Like the stat is broken or something, and that does happen in these old games. But I wish I'd known that because I kept equipping it. So I would do that to, like, get magic pow Like, I would put that on my characters who I was going to use for magic. So I think we're going to... Uh, that's why we bought the earring. And I'm sure there's stuff we can sell, too, but... I don't know if I want to. Some people... I don't know. Someone told me don't... I think that death glove or whatever the weapon was for Tifa that we got, someone said, has a really good setup. And they were like, quick, don't sell that! <laughs> Which is... I don't think it would be something I would do. I feel like weapons that have special, uh, whatchamacallit, special, like, effects and stuff, you should pr 
pretty much always keep around. Never know when there's something cool you can use one for. But yeah, so we'll sleep at the inn. Always good to do. I like to do that even if I we weren't at like low health or anything. But there's always like scenes and stuff at inns in these RPGs if you really visit them all. And that can happen. A drink will ease your heart. Yeah, I've been trying to get a drink since this LP started. The only person who would give me one was Tifa. Uh, let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative. So you should really talk with him. Yeah, we'll do that, I'm sure. And I guess... Well, we can't say we're interested, huh? It's too bad. Yep, maybe we'll come back again. Is this guy in the bathroom? Is there gonna be more bathroom in this game? <laughs> He's having a hard time. I'm in here! That is... Alright, back me up, guys. Isn't this, like, one of the moments where you, f like, feel the truest fear? When, like, you're in the bathroom, like, laboring, <laughs> and someone comes up and knocks on the door, and you're, you're, like, you don't know if you should be, like, assert yourself and be like, eh, somebody in here, or if you should just be like, eh, there's somebody in here. <laughs> I don't know. I always get, like, it's, like, it's too intimate, I feel like, when someone interrupts that process. It's rather comical to think about when you're not in that position. <laughs> and it's hilarious to do to somebody else. Cause you just know what it's like. Uh, what am I talking about? Rusted out rocket is all that remains of the Shinra space program. Yeah, other guy said the same thing. In fact, you might be that guy. And I just didn't remember what he looked like. This guy seems to be worrying. I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can get me excited? Uh, well, I don't know. There's, there's a girl in here. If you stop sitting on the couch. Come in here and talk to your wife, or whoever this is, just cleaning plates. It's boring. Yeah, she's got the same thing going on. I think you guys need to get together. Play a little game of gin rummy, something along those lines, maybe Twister. <laughs> That's not along those lines, but... Oh man, what am I saying today? I like to have fun in these town exploring episodes, I don't know if you noticed. Here's a chest power source. That's cool. We can always... I think we're accruing more of those source items, but I haven't given them to people yet. I'm sure we'll do that in a little bit. My job's to make everyone laugh all over the world. Are you a, a comedian? You don't look like one. Alright. I guess we're narrowing down the houses that have importance here. <laughs> everyone in this town was a mechanic back then. Yeah, the rocket. Alright, so this was a town of mechanics, I guess. They were all really focused on the rocket, and I guess it fell through. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. Hmm. Yeah, I guess... <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys haven't advanced like uh, Final Fantasy IV has. There was a whole dungeon on the moon in that game. Uh, what are you? Materia items? This is the item shop. Here's something I that came to my attention. I need tents. <laughs> this is like... Like, I had two. I don't think I've ever bought tents yet in this entire playthrough and I really and someone left a comment they were like you use so many ethers and stuff why not tents and I'm like yeah why not tents <laughs> it's good I guess we'll probably get some more ethers though just for the sake of things we have a lot of money because I did some grinding we have 23 Phoenix downs <laughs> I wonder what those sell for maybe it would be beneficial to sell some of those because I can't imagine even at a tough spot I can't imagine we'd need 23 we got the bane of my existence new materia here <laughs> barrier magic I'm guessing that's like barrier <laughs> uh, good one good observation snack and exit which seems like it would let you run from battles I don't I, we don't have too much trouble with running from battles but this could be useful I don't think we'll probably hold off on that for the time being uh, I thought I had all this money I guess we don't because we still have weapons and stuff that we can buy. I'm sure maybe they're in here. Or no, was that shotgun? Was this store with the shotgun the weapon shop? Because that all it had was weapon, a weapon for Vincent. Drill arm, is that for Barrett? Sounds Barrett-y. barrett, -y. barrett -y. <laughs> Yeah, it is. And it doesn't say it's a long range, so I guess it's a close range weapon. Which is what we've... Oh no, we don't have that on him anymore. We got that new one. That ridiculous looking one. Yeah, so that's cool. I guess we can stick that on him next time he's in the party. What's in the back room? Oh, snap. It's that Tails. Is this Tails' airplane? It looks a little bit like it. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Want me to keep watch? 
Yeah, Vincent, you just stay here and sit on the plane. Well, <laughs> may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. Okay. I'm Shara. What are your names? I'm Cloud. Vincent, my occupation is... Forget it. Okay. And, I, and I'm Eris! I don't know why I was giving him all these weird, like, 50s announcer voices. Yeah, we're not with the Shinra. We're pretty far removed from that. I thought the approval of the reopening... For the reopening of the space program came. I've been reading these text boxes all willy-nilly. Like, skipping, like, after... Like, I've been saying them, and it's gonna, like, tick me off in editing. Because I'm gonna be like, why don't you just read it as it comes? I don't know. <laughs> President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Yeah, freaking Rufus. We don't want to see him again. <laughs> I would be content with him dying off screen. However, that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Here we got a shotgun. Can't Vince just take this one? I don't know. And some kind of cool car? Bike? I don't know. I guess this is a town of mechanics and scientists, so you'd assume they'd have that stuff lying around. And, I guess the rocket is all that's left to go to. <laughs> and I was gonna say this in the beginning of the episode, or when we got here, but I uh, forgot. <laughs> but, for, I can't remember who it was, but whoever, uh, <laughs> left me the, the, the hint that the next area had something to do with, like, Elton John. <laughs> I see that now. Because of, uh... <laughs> rocket man! Rocket man! Burning out his fuse out there alone! <laughs> okay. Good job. Oh, it's... Hey, we know you! What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. I'M THE CAPTAIN! Haha. -ha. And yeah, right off... Alright, this is our very last party member. Sid. He's, a. Uh series staple of Final Fantasy. Sid, unlike Biggs and Wedge, who only are in some Final Fantasy games, there's a Sid in every single Final Fantasy, and I think he's in most of the spin-offs too, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this is one of the few games, I guess, where Sid is like a real playable character. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. What do you want? Uh, tell me about the rocket, sure. Not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? There was... Okay, I know there's something about a war that happened in the past in this game, because that's where uh, Eris's adopted mother's husband died. And I remember... I don't remember exactly what... I don't know if any more has been said on that, but I know there was a war. To make a company? Yeah, Shinra. In the old days, it was... Okay, so it used to be a weapons manufacturer? I don't know how they got interested in Mako. Maybe they figured out that it existed, and they were like, this will make more money. They came up with a rocket engine. There, did he just do a little happy dance? There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. And so I guess this is number 26. So that is a lot of prototypes. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. <laughs> kind of funny. Finally we get to the day of the launch, everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shara, aw, this launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. Huh. So Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration, I got my hopes up. Damn them. So it seems like Sid's got a grudge against Shinra too, but not really in the same way we do. I guess he's more concerned about his own dream, which is to fly into outer space. It was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. Yeah, that's what I thought. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money Moolah Dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. I kind of like this guy. He's got a cool attitude. Look at this rusted rocket. It was supposed to be the first man in... Or, I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day tilts a little bit more. Well, that's kind of dangerous, dude. Don't you think you should take it down or something? This rate, I don't know which will come first. This thing falling down or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Well, I don't know if he's really going to listen too much. New guy seems worse than uh, old President Shinra. And I guess, is that the only thing we can talk to Sid about? 
because I wanted to hear all of his dialogue and get him to come with me, because <laughs> I know he's playable, because he's in the manual, and he's in my little picture, too. Maybe we go back in and we can talk to him. Uh, let's see. City! Alright, yeah. Yeah, so is Rufus coming? It sounds like he is. Must be news about restarting the program, okay. Well, maybe Rufus is trying to bring it back. I'm sure he, if he is, he's doing it for some dastardly reason, but... I don't know. Young President, that's what we needed. He still has dreams, too. Yeah, so I guess Sid... And maybe he has a little bit of a grudge against Shinra, but he doesn't seem to know what we know as far as what they're doing to the planet. He seems to be more of a commoner. Or really just interested in his own craft, I guess. Yeah, dude, let us borrow the tiny Bronco. It doesn't look like he wants us to. It's the most cherished possession. Possession. I can't let you take it. Well, good talking to you, dude. Can't wait to see how you join us. I don't know. It's cool that... Uh, there's a playable Sid. I think this, other than four, I think this is the only one. I don't, unless there's, I'm being really stupid and forgetting one game, but I'm pretty sure this is the only other Final Fantasy where you can play as the Sid. But that's neat. And I want you, and I know you will come with me, because I'm relentless, and I will get you no matter what it takes. <laughs> but yes. So, uh, I'm not sure what we have to do next. Maybe we'll go back and talk to Shara. Uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. So until then guys, I've been Snack Attack 8. Thanks so much for sticking around with this project for 50 parts. Uh, I guess it's been like four months since I started this, but it seems like it was just yesterday to me. And I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I'm still having a ton of fun with it. So uh, I'm really glad to have you guys along. And there's my little sentimental speech. Uh, but yes, till next time, I've been Snack Attack 8, and I will see you then. Later!